Hello and welcome to Cycle Sink and Chisel. This is our first upper body day. We are doing an upper body pull focus. Um, so on Thursday, our next upper body day, we'll be focusing on an upper body push focus. Yesterday we did a lower body focus. We're giving our legs a break. Mine are certainly sore from yesterday. So today, again, we're working on pull. So think back, biceps, and rear delts. So this part of the shoulder, the back part of the shoulder. Um, class will be, for the first week here, I'll definitely be running through this over and over again, so I apologize if it's a little bit repetitive, but we will be going off of a clock. You did receive, if you're enrolled in class, you received a spreadsheet that has a list of reps to aim for, okay? So in the 45 seconds for each movement, your goal is to hit those reps. This gives us all the chance to, one, listen to our cycles, listen to our bodies, pushing harder or pulling back as necessary. Two, it gives you a chance to really track progressive overload. So starting with your weights this week, over the course of the next three weeks, could you see yourself either go up in reps a little bit, so maybe start in the tail end, the lower end of reps this week, go up in reps as the weeks continue, or go up in weight, or work for a longer period of time, reduce rest, any of those things or even just improve form. So those are all ways to progressive overload and that is a main goal of this program, okay? Real quick, I just wanna start with this one quote and then we'll get going. Girls are taught to view their bodies as unending projects to work on, whereas boys from a young age are taught to view their bodies as tools to master the environment. Here, we are learning to master our environment, right? We are learning how to master our cycles, our body, and to live in unison with it and to be in flow. So there's that. Let's get going here. I'm just going to start this clock just so I have a backup clock going for us. We are going to begin with about 20 seconds of jumping jacks. And then if you've got a red long band, you're going to grab that band and you're going to do pull aparts. If you don't have a band, you're going to do that without a band and just pump the arms back and we'll be there for about 20 seconds. Okay. We're going to do that twice just to build some heat and we will take off in Five, four, three, two, and here we go with jumping jacks. There's my red band. All right, <clears throat> perfect. If jumping jacks, you need something a little bit more low impact, you can absolutely step side to side. We're here for just 10 more seconds. Excellent. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, grabbing that red band if you've got it. I would not do a double layer, I would do just a single layer. Opening nice and quick in three, two, here we go, pump it. If it starts hitting you like mine is, you can get it to a spot where it doesn't whip you. Try not to put it into your back, keep the core engaged. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jumping jacks once again in three, two, here we go. Let's bump this one up just to 30 seconds. 20 seconds right here. Nice work, ladies. For 10. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, grabbing that band, pull apart. Here we go. This one right here, these pull apart, they add up so fast. <laughs> they burn right off the bat. Again, if you don't have a band, you're taking your arms, press back, press back, press back. We're here for five, four, three, two. Band goes down. Stand where your feet right underneath your hips. Make fists. I want you to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, bring tension to your core. We're gonna do just two rounds of neck cars in each direction. So keeping those fists, tuck your chin. Look at the right shoulder, draw a line with your nose, up and across to your other shoulder, down through the center. One more time in that direction. Keep creating that tension in your fist, in the rest of your body, down through the center. Other direction. Draw the circle with your nose across the ceiling. 
chin to shoulder, chin to chest, nose to shoulder, up and around, and back through. Perfect. Dropping down to the floor. Because of yesterday's workout, we are going to get into the adductor quickly, but we're also going to focus on thoracic twist. So take your right hand behind your head, right leg out to the side, elbow towards the floor, big twist up, reach it back down. Big twist up. As you twist up, I want you to feel into pushing into the floor with the left arm to get that extension, get that reach. And then what's happening in the back muscles to help you get that twist. Two more here. You might also feel a little bit of a ringing out sensation through the med sec mid section, excuse me. Hand to the floor, switch it out. <clears throat> left leg out, left hand behind the head, elbow towards the floor. Push the right hand into the floor as you twist. Feel into the back, what muscles are working to help you get in that deep twist. Beautiful, five more right here. Reach, reach, reach. Last three. Taking your time, there is no rush. Excellent. One more. Perfect. Okay, we have two elements for activation or more of a dynamic warm up, we'll say. If you have access to a wall, you're gonna to go to a wall. If you don't have access to a wall, you could do this either standing, lying on the floor, or on a foam roller. We are going to do wall angels. Because of this painting, I'm gonna do mine seated on the floor, but you could absolutely do it leaning up against a wall. My feet are away from the wall so that I have the best chance at having my back flat to the wall. Again, this can be on the floor. We are going to start with our arms down by our sides. And then from here, we're going to try to keep what we can on the wall as we reach overhead and then pull back down. As we pull down, the elbows can drop down by your sides. My hands come off the wall. So right here, I'm gonna try my best to keep my hands on the wall and then try to pull down. <sighs> we're here working this range of motion for about 20 more seconds. You'll feel quite a contraction between the rhomboids or sorry, in the rhomboids, between the shoulder blades. Pull down. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Can you hide your ribs? Three, two, one. Staying at your wall. <clears throat> now we're just gonna do a quick overhead assessment because we will do some things overhead. So same position, leaning slightly out from the wall. Can you keep everything on the wall? As you reach the arms overhead, drawing the thumbs toward the wall, reaching back down, three more. Reach up. This is just your own personal assessment of where is your shoulder mobility at today. Really important to do this if you are planning on really working your shoulders, but especially going overhead. Beautiful. From there, we are gonna go into a light set of bent over scapula protraction and retraction and then we'll get going. So when I say light, I am holding a set of tens. Grab whatever your lightest weight is, okay? We're gonna start in a bent over position. We wanna make sure the core is on. In this bent over position, make sure you're loading your hamstrings. From here, you're going to retract the shoulders and then let them protract back towards the floor. Retract, protract. Squeeze shoulder blades together, let them drift apart. Squeeze them up and together, let them drift apart. We'll go for about 15 more. This is nice and light. Nice and light. I'm having a lot of trouble <laughs> speaking this morning. I mean, it's because I didn't give myself enough time before class to wake up. Um, so we're trying to really fatigue the space in between the shoulder blades. Again, we've got a pretty light set of weights here. So that's where we're going for about 20 reps. Try to keep the neck as still as possible. <sighs> we have five. Beautiful, we have four. For three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For two, and one. Excellent work, okay. Now it's time to get into our strength sets, okay. So again, how this is gonna work is the clock is gonna run for 45 seconds. I have listed up here on my board the amount of reps that we're aiming for. 
So I'll always remind you of that. I'm not expecting you to work for 45 seconds. I want you to work to the point that you feel fatigued, that you feel in alignment with your body. If you get extra rest, awesome. Know that you can progress and add on weights or whatever to challenge you throughout the course of the next three weeks. Our first movement is bent over wide row. So dumbbells, kettlebells, doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that you're being challenged. We are in a bent over position. Palms are gonna start by facing our knees. We're going to row, release back down, <sighs> row, release back down. So we're pulling those weights apart nice and wide, okay? Our goal there is 10 to 12 reps. We're then gonna stand tall and go into dumbbell hammer curl. Our goal here is 12 reps, okay? Finally, we're gonna finish with one of my new favorites, plank, single arm, rear delt, fly. We only have eight reps on each side, so I'm not going to give us an extra block of time. I think we can probably fit that in on both sides within 45 seconds, okay? So in a plank position, in a plank position, <clears throat> you'll take one weight, you'll fly, bring it back down with control. Fly, back down with control. I really wanna emphasize the control back down, okay? You can rip it up, but then show me control on the way down. All right, those are our three movements. We're gonna start with that wide bent over row. We do get 30 seconds rest at the end of each round, only about 10 seconds to transition, okay? It's gonna get your heart rate. That's gonna happen. So if you're breathing heavy, that's totally fine. Feel into your body, no pain in the joints, fatigue in the muscles, all good. All right, here we go. I am gonna use kettlebells for this. Again, dumbbells or kettlebells are totally fine. So here we are, we take off in three, in two. Here we go, row it up, nice and wide. Again, your goal is 10 to 12 reps, so you have plenty of time. As you're rowing, try to keep those hamstrings loaded. Excellent. Is your neck neutral? Beautiful. Retract those shoulder blades. As you're rowing, can you maintain a nice strong angle with the wrist? 20 seconds right here. I have seemingly lost track of my reps, but I believe right here I'm at 10. I'm going to squeeze in two more. We have 10 seconds left. At this point, I'm putting my weights down. I'm resting. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell hammer curl is coming up next. Taking off in six. This is where your palms stay facing the middle. Okay, three, two, take an exhale, curl them up. Inhale, back down. Keep your elbows pointing down. Do not let your elbows point towards the camera, okay? Once you go there, you really do take it out of the biceps. Excellent, 30 seconds. Exhale, lift. Inhale, back down. So, so good. 23 seconds left right here. This one actually might be <laughs> a little tight in terms of fitting in all those reps. That was eight for me. Excellent, we have 12 seconds. Seven, six, cutting it close, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we just rear delt fly from a plank position. I don't recommend going too, too heavy. First side, goal is eight reps, three, two, here we go. Exhale as you fly. Try to be nice and centered in your plank position. Thirty-two seconds left. I'm switching sides. Nice, beautiful in that plank position. Can you keep both hip bones facing the floor straight ahead? Seventeen seconds. Come on, beautiful. We have 10. Excellent, ladies, very good. You have six. Keep those hips down, beautiful. Three, two, and one. All right, welcome to first round, first day of upper body pull. That was fantastic. 30 seconds rest, grab a sip of water if you need it. We'll start back up with that wide bent over row. 18 seconds. All right, round two, 
Again, 10 to 12 reps is your goal. Taking off in five, three, two, here we go. Load the hamstrings as you're ready, row. Nice and wide. Yes, ladies, very good. Very, very good. Squeeze your scapula together. Control the weights back down. Hide your ribs. Try not to flare your chest as you row. Excellent. Come on, big pulls. You've got this. 20 seconds. Come on. Nice work. Very good. Once you hit the 10 or 12, take your rest. We have 10 seconds. In my opinion, the hardest one to fit in is coming up next. We've got our dumbbell hammer curls, okay? Again, our goal is 12 reps. If these are a piece of cake for you, time to go up and wait, okay? Three, two, here we go. Exhale, curl, inhale down. Nice, yes, yes, yes. Feet are firmly planted in the ground. So good. Let those biceps burn. Mind muscle connection. Make sure you're feeling your biceps. If you're feeling all traps somewhere else in your body, then that's a sign to maybe go down and wait. See if you can get that isolation a little bit more dialed in. Excellent work. 15 seconds. Come on. You've got it. Try not to rock, but know that as you challenge yourself, they get a little ugly towards the end. Three, two, and one. All right. Favorite move right here. Plank, single arm, rear delt fly. Nice, strong planks. Three, two, here we go. Nice work. I've got four more on this side. Come on, connect to your core at the same time. Nice work, ladies, 30 seconds. Come on. Again, can you keep a beautiful plank? Can you keep a nice straight line? Can you keep your hips facing the floor? Come on. Definitely pretty challenging. Come on. Excellent work. Woo! Yes, ladies. Those look great. Shake it out. We have 30 seconds. We gotta squeeze in one more round. What adjustments do you possibly have to make? Is it to the weights, higher, lower? Where's your breathing at? Where's your mind at? Are you being present? Okay, 18 seconds. One more time through. Starting with that <coughs> wide bent over row in 10. Let's grab our weights. Strong hinge position, core on, hamstrings loaded. Three, two, here we go. Excellent. Keep a nice long neck as we're rowing here. Come on. Come on. Excellent. Those look great, ladies. Very, very good. Beautiful. Yes. 12 seconds. That is definitely a set that we can all get done a little bit quicker. So let yourself have that extra rest. Four seconds. We'll have 10 seconds right here to go ahead and set up for our dumbbell hammer curl. Grabbing those weights. We take off in three. In two. Here we go. Exhale. Control it down. Exhale up. Nice. Up for three. Come on. Four. Five. Come on. You got it. All right. Halfway through. Six more right here. Come on. We have five. Yes. So strong. Four. Come on. Three. Woo. We have two. Ten seconds on the clock. That's 12 for me. <laughs> Woo, nice work, ladies. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping on down. 
Maybe start on the opposite arm on this final round. Three, two, here we go. Lower those hips. Come on, you got it. 33 seconds remaining. Yes, come on, a fly position. Get that weight up and away from the body. Arm slightly bent. Let's go. Ooh, 15 seconds. Those look great. Yes, yes, yes. Nice work, Megan. Nice work, Lindsay. Melissa, on point. There you go, Emily. Three, two, and one. So good. The fly position I want to talk about real quick. We're taking a break, so grab some water, whatever it is that you need. The fly position, whether it's single arm or two, I want you to always think, lead with the elbow, okay? How is that different than that wide grip row that we did? Palms are facing each other here. When we did the row, palms were facing my legs, so that's different. This is more of that wide row, specifically with the weights we have here at home, okay? This, again, would be more of that fly. So when we're doing those single arm flies, it's more of this as opposed to this, okay? Think of making a C on each side, okay? Awesome work. Supinated bent over row. <laughs> kind of feeling similar to what we just did. This is one of the points we're fatiguing the muscles that we just worked. So supinated just means palms face up. You're holding bowls of soup. So we're gonna be in that bent over position. Instead of our palms facing our knees, they're gonna face away. We're going to row. I really shouldn't see your elbows. If you're facing the camera, I might see them a little bit, but nowhere near what we just did with that wide row. So it's here, elbows up and back, very close to the sides of the body. And I want you to think palms closer to your hips as opposed to your chest, okay? That's gonna activate more of your lats. You're still gonna get rear delts as well. We have traditional bicep curl. So palms are just gonna face our shoulders. And then we are going to go into a standing rear delt fly. So basically all of the same movements, just slightly different. Standing rear delt fly, slight hinge, very slight, nothing like this, okay? And I want you to whip them up and then control them down. Whip them up, control them down. Not your heaviest weight, but find something that is challenging. Three rounds, again, 45 seconds on the clock. We'll work to the recommended rep range and then rest with any additional time that we have. All right, so make sure this is set. We're good to go. Supinated, bent over row. You got this, we got 12 reps, that's our goal. Here we are, taking off in three, in two, palms face away. Here we go, one, row it up for two. Could you get that little hold at the top? Three, yes, very good. Four, five, excellent. Big pulls, come on, yes, yes, yes. Here we are for eight, pull it strong. Beautiful ladies, last three. We have 18 seconds left. Come on, big pull, and rest as you are ready. 12 seconds remaining. If you wanna pull up, if you wanna chin up, this workout is going to help get you there, okay? Doesn't always have to be on the bar. All of this pull will get you there. This stuff is very, very important for those. Regular bicep curl, palms face the camera. Three, two, here we go. Our goal here is 12. Keep those elbows pointing down towards the floor. Excellent. Root down through your feet. Exhale as you curl to the top. Inhale with control back down. That's the halfway point for me. Try to keep your shoulders pulled back. So good, ladies. You're looking very, very strong. Nice. Up. Come on. I'm going for two more here. We have 12 seconds. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
standing, rear delt fly. Our goal here is 12 reps. Three, palms face each other, two, here we go. We're up, control it back down. Nice. Trying to really focus on the rear delt to the back side of the shoulder. Day one, I'm already dropping down. That was a little too heavy to finish that set. That's also totally fine to be able to do. Come on. We got this, let's go. I got three more right here. Back is on fire. Come on. Oh my goodness, three. We have two and one. Fantastic work, 30 seconds. Well, that just wakes up the upper back, huh? <sighs> nice work. 23 seconds remaining. I want to invite you all to take some type of photo here in this first week so you can really track the transformation that will happen if you stay committed to all of these workouts. Seven seconds, getting ready for that supinated row. <sighs> Three, two, <sighs> here we are. It could even be just a picture of your face. The amount of personal transformation that happens when we commit to anything, but especially physical movement, dialing in nutrition, rest, mindfulness. You would see that just in your face, right? You could take a body shot as well if that's something you're personally interested in. That is one of the points of this program to build Lean body mass. I'm going for two more reps here. Come on. We have 10 seconds. Five seconds remaining on the clock. Yes, 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 yes. Wanting to stretch like this would be very normal right now. <laughs> Getting ready for our traditional bicep curls. Three, two, here we go. Exhale to the top, control it down for two, three, nice work ladies, yes, come on, are you being challenged on these bicep curls, we want to make sure that's a solid yes, okay, mine starts to look <laughs> real ugly right about there, we have 14 seconds remaining, We have eight. I'm squeezing in one more. Three, two, and one. Woo! You ever see memes about people's lifting faces? <laughs> We're all gonna have them in this program. Three, two, hinge it a bit. Here we go. Rear delt focus fly. Go up nice and big, control it down. Try not to flare the ribs. Come on, squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. You got this, let's go. I know it burns. We're pushing on through. I've got two more. Come on, let's go. Oh, 14 seconds remaining. Yes, ladies, go, go, go. There you go. Okay. Give me a flex, yes, those look so good. Nice, 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 nice. 30 second rest. We are crushing it time-wise. After this, we just gotta get through another set of three movements. We're gonna have extra time. So at that point, I will make all your hearts happy. <laughs> and we can isolate some core. Um, I'll give you that little bonus. 10 seconds, supinated, bent over row. Seven seconds. Core is involved in all of this, just so you know. Three, two, here we go. Especially right here, right? Hinge position. Your core has to be on pull. Come on. Come on. You've got this. I'm halfway through with my set. Can you pull, hold? Release back down with control. Come on, exhale as you pull, 
Control it down. We have 15 seconds. I'm squeezing in two more. Come on. As you're ready, allow yourself to rest. We have six seconds. Three, two, resting, transitioning. 10 seconds to get into our final traditional bicep curl. We take off in five. Oh, three, two, ugliness. <laughs> Ugly sets right here. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> if you fatigue curling both of these weights up at the same time, you could always finish by curling one at a time. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep those shoulders pulled back, Megan. <sighs> you got it. There we are. Nice, Lindsay. Lindsay, let's take your arms from here, bring them to the front of the body. Yep, there you go. Elbows actually, ladies, do not have to be glued to your sides. Okay, I just need them to point down. Three, two, take your rest. Nice work. We gotta get going into just our final round of rear delt flies. We'll talk about the elbow position here in a second. Three, two, so let's go. Final push on these. Come on. There you go. Could we hinge a little bit, right? Rip them up, control them down. Rip, control. Yes, 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 yes. Emily, that control on the way down, girl. Yes, so good. Nice, Melissa, same. Beautiful control. Lindsay, head a little up. Not too much, just a little. Yes, right there, girl. We have 13 seconds. Come on. Whoo! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, rest. Ladies, that was awesome. Elbow position on the bicep curls. It's a myth. Lots of myths. We always dispel them, and we learn as we go. Elbows do not have to be glued by your side. Okay, that's gonna to lead to different forms of impingement because that's not the natural position of your elbow. Your shoulders are wider than your hips, okay? So if we're doing this, you're forcing it into a spot that it actually doesn't wanna be. It just needs to hang naturally. What I was talking about is don't let the elbow lift up because then it's not a bad thing necessarily, but you're just starting to work more of your delt, your anterior delt, than isolating the bicep. Does that make sense? So once we go here, now it's working up above the bicep. Let them be a little bit more free, okay? All right, we're gonna go on our backs. We have weighted pullover. We got 12 reps. I personally like to go pretty heavy on these. <clears throat> I like to go uh, with a 35 pounder. That's me right now. Again, I do these quite a bit. Um, what the movement is, is I would like us to be in dead bug. So, meaning your core is braced the whole time. I did just post a video with these yesterday. So we inhale overhead. We try to hover for a second and then pull, okay? Now, in the beginning, we tested overhead mobility. If you saw that you were really, really tight, don't expect yourself to touch the floor. I don't want anyone bouncing off the floor. Show control to the floor. I actually try to not ever touch it and just get to a point of hovering and then pull back, okay? Our goal there is 12. We then have dumbbell 21s. I'm not gonna show that right now. It's three ranges of motion. We'll see if we can fit them all in within 45 seconds. Then we come back onto our floor and we're going onto our backs. And we're gonna go into dead bug leg lowers. So in a dead bug position, we are going to try to extend the legs out and then pull back. Extend the legs out and then pull back, okay? Those are our three movements. Starting on our back, dead bug pullover. Three, two, here we go. Inhale, reach overhead with control, exhale, pull. We have a goal of hitting about 12 reps, okay? Inhale overhead, strong, exhale, pull. As you reach overhead, do you notice that your ribs want to flare up? I'm kind of coming into the tail end of my luteal phase. And I know for a fact that when I get there, it becomes much more difficult, more challenging for me to engage my TVA. So I notice that I wanna flare a little bit more. 
Just things we learn about ourselves. As we build awareness, we have six seconds left. I did lose count. <laughs> we have three, two, one. Dumbbell 21s. I would not go with your heaviest weight. Standing tall, bottom half of your curl. Three, two, here we go. Just the bottom for one, for two, three, four, five, six. Keep it here, top half. One, two, three, four, yes. Five, six, seven, full range all the way down. We curl for one. We have 18 seconds, it's gonna be tight. Two, for three, four, here we go, last three. Let's go, up for two, up for one. Excellent, we had four seconds to spare, beautiful. On our backs one more time. Dead bug leg lowers. Do not try to put your feet to the floor, okay? If it's helpful, keep the head lifted so you can see your TVA. You're going to brace, extend the legs, pull them back. Extend the legs, keep the TVA wrapped, pull back, okay? I like to keep my head lifted so that I can see my TVA, so that I can see that my belly doesn't rise up as I extend. We have 24 seconds on the clock. I'm gonna say, let's just keep working. If both legs at the same time is too challenging, extend one and pull back. Dead bug variations, all of them are no walk in the park. If you treat them like so, you are not getting the full benefit out of them. They're actually super challenging. Three, two, and one. Woo! Well deserved rest. Oh, hello, Tula Rose. <laughs> That's gonna be my new favorite thing when she comes and says hi. Melissa, I know, I would imagine that you're appreciating your solo time, but I always love when your kids come and say hi too. <laughs> uh, we can stay on our backs, we have 16 seconds. We gotta go into our dead bug overhead pull. Time and wise again, we're doing great. We still have 20 minutes left of this hour. Two more rounds and then we'll throw in just isolated core. On our backs, dead bug, here we go. Three, two, reach overhead and pull. Now, when I say that bonus of isolated core, <clears throat> if you need to go, <laughs> please do not feel bad about missing the isolated core, <sighs> right? We crushed, we're leaving some time, some room to squeeze in some extra things, but you've done the bulk of the workout <sighs> and you should feel really <sighs> freaking good about it because it has not been easy. <sighs> 15 seconds left. Inhale, reach, try to find that little hover. Pull back strong. Excellent work, we have six. Come on, we have three, two, and one. Standing up, dumbbell 21. I might be killing myself here, but I'm gonna try it a little heavier. Three, two, bottom half. One, we have two, three, four, Five, yes, six, keep it there, top half, one, two, three, four, beautiful, five, dumbbells to the front of the body, full range, here we go, one, two, three, 15 seconds, four, five, six, Seven, Ooh. fantastic. Getting on to our backs, 10 seconds before we go. Dead bug, leg lowers. I'm gonna just kind of work for the 45 seconds. Do the best you can, single leg or double. Three, two, here we go. As you extend, can you keep pressure consistent between your back and the floor? Again, do you notice if your head is lifted, you're looking down, does your belly rise or can you keep it constant? We just wanna maintain our intra-abdominal pressure. If you see it rise up, it just means that that pressure shifted. Excellent work. 14 seconds left right here. 
10 more seconds. Whew, so good. So, so good. We have five. Come on, three, two, and one. 30 seconds rest. And then we'll go through just one more round. You know, renegade rows are my favorite rear delt core exercise. Something's telling me those might sneak in here in this next little bonus round. One more time through, ladies. One more time through. On our backs, getting ready for our overhead pulse. Three, dead buzz position. Two, here we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, strong pull. Can you knit the ribs as you reach overhead? Again, for those of us with pull-up or chin-up goals, this work right here, this helps you maintain a nice, strong, hollow body position on the bar. You need that, in my opinion, to be able to do nice, fluid pull-ups or chin-ups. Leg lifts as well. 10 seconds. Eight. Come on, we have just five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, dumbbell 21s last time. <clears throat> Take it off in four, in three, two. Here we go, bottom half. Two, we have three, excellent. Four, five, six, Seven, top path, one, stopping point, two, yes, three, four, five, six, seven, 20 seconds, strong up, one, control the down, two, they certainly add up, we have three, four, five, six, last one right here, Seven, so good. Dead bug one, last time, I promise. We'll stay away from dead bug, moving forward. Taking off in three, two, here we go. TVA wrapped, for those that don't know what TVA is, what that stands for, it's your transverse abdominus. It is your deepest layer of core muscles. It's pretty, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Besides just important, uh, it's vital in maintaining intra-abdominal pressure for that bracing sensation for filling the canister. Canister being your core cavity. We have four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. It looks like we've got about 12 minutes left. You've completed the program for today. If you need to go, get on your way, okay? Bye girl, have a good day at work. Those of us that are staying, we're gonna rip through Renegade Bros. They are my favorite. They hit rear delts and target your core. So you're in a plank position. We're gonna do almost like Tabata style. So we're gonna do Renegade Rows for 20 seconds. That does not mean go into hit land. Okay, I'm just using the timing of 20 seconds. I would rather these still be like beautiful, crisp, clean movements. Okay, so don't let that timing throw you off. All that means is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to transition. So the first movement is going to be plank position, feet nice and wide, row, row, okay? It's the end of the workout, slow it down. Be chill, okay? Then what we're gonna go into is again, I said no more dead bug. We're gonna go into modified single leg B-ups. So feet are gonna start flat, modified because in the start position, I want your back scooped to the floor. Pressing into the floor, you're going to exhale, reach up, alternating what leg you split your arms around. Notice how much my back is off the floor. We wanna full sit up, okay? All right, we'll get through a couple of rounds of this. And then we are done taking off in six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Exhale, row. 16 seconds. 
Yes, very, very good. Keep those feet nice and wide. So you have a nice, strong, stable base. Eight seconds. Excellent. We have four, three, we have two, and one on our back. Single leg, alternating V ups in a bent legged fashion in five, four, three, two. Exhale, lift. Most of your back comes up off the floor. 17 seconds left. So good. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back down. 10 seconds. Wrapping the TVA. So good. We have three. We have two. And one. Transitioning back to Renegade Rose. Nice work, Megan. Very, very good. Taking off in three, two. Let's go. 15 seconds remaining. Strong, stable, fluid motions. Can you keep the hips facing the floor? Seven seconds remaining. Three, we have two, and one on our backs. Arms overhead, take an inhale. We come up in three, two, let's go. Exhale, reach. Inhale, back down. 15 seconds. Yes, the core is definitely on fire. Very good sensation. Come on, we have five. We have three. We have two. And one. We will wrap up here with one more round. You're doing great. That'll leave us a little bit of time to stretch. Plenty of time to stretch, but three, two. Here we are. Come on, 10 seconds. Eight. Come on, pull, pull, pull. Nice and strong for three, for two, and one. Excellent. Final pace right here. Then we'll give it a quick stretch. Three, two, reach on up. Fifteen seconds. Exhale, lift. Control it back down. We have eight. Last five. Four. We have three. Two. And one. Oh. Woo. I do know that you have work. If you need to go, please feel free. I'm going to just go through a quick little stretch. Excellent work today. Truly. Is this you? Good. Okay, so taking your arm, your right arm, we're gonna reach it across the body and give ourselves a good stretch. Make sure the shoulder isn't popping up, right? We wanna really sink it on down. Start to acknowledge the work that you put in today because it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Switching sides. As a reminder, this is the format and the content that you will see for the next three weeks at which point we'll change and go into a new grouping of movements. The reason we do that is so that we can see ourselves progress. We allow space and time for ourselves to progress. Um, let's go into a static thread the needle. So reaching left arm up, threading it through, resting on the left ear, pressing the back side of the left hand into the floor, trying to really open up that space behind the scapula. Inhaling, reaching up, hand to the floor, other side, inhale, thread it on through, press the back side of the hand into the floor, right ear, right side of the head, just resting on the floor, <sighs> inhale, unpeel, hand to the floor, let's give our wrists a little love, so fingertips back towards the knees. And allowing yourself to rock back if that's what feels good. Excellent. Maybe a little forward and back motion. From here, going to the tops of the hands. And again, sitting on back a bit. Releasing, giving your hands a quick little roll around. Fantastic work today. That is all she wrote. 
You all did a fantastic job, seriously. <sighs> Work in progress, we attend each and every day with love, compassion, kindness for ourselves and a pretty badass go-getter attitude. Till next time, see you soon.